Hey yo, it is Jay-Z back here from the Crazy Campground Raceways from the Amigos Diecast Racing. I am here with Maniac Michelle, and you are here for Michelle? Semi-finals! Yep, semi-finals from the Racing Champions Cup Series. They started off at Bay City Diecast. They are here now at the Amigos. They're gonna move on to Commotion Diecast, and they're gonna crown our champion after the Low Country Diecast Racing League track there. Oh my gosh, we have some racers out there. I mean, Jessica's in front right now with six points. Delvis Jenkins with four, Biff Kirby coming in at three, Thomas Flipiak at fourth with two points, and people are just gaining points left and right. If you look at all of our races we've had so far, all four heats, my goodness. Here's a look at our race driver, or our cars, for semifinal number one. Maniac Michelle, I wanna know who, after looking at these cars, I wanna know who you want as your driver today. First up, Sneaky Bob had 13 points in his heat race, got that all important bonus point, Next up, Jessica had 11 heat points. Gets that extra bonus point, so that's cool. And then now next, Remy 12 gauge. Came in second, so it doesn't get that extra bonus point, but still had 10 heat points and had a better qualifying time than our next car, that's why he's sitting there in third, than the Grey Wizard right here had also 10 heat points, just didn't have that better qualifying time over Remy 12 gauge coming in fourth for this semifinal number one. Okay, Maniac, who do you have as your driver for this first round? It's really hard because I have history. What's your history? I have history with the cars. Oh yeah, I know, and you are again pointing, and that was Grey Wizard because you know Grey Wizard does fall off our track as we look at them running turn one. Going into that 90, it's Sneaky Bob out in front. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be Sneaky Bob for the win. Oh, what happened there? Grey Wizard knows this, vehicle, this track. He shouldn't have gone up there. I, well, you Was know, he looking for the other car that's uh, somewhere? Maybe, I don't know. We did, we did not have an all four car Jessica. finish. It, yeah, I don't know where Jessica went, but we do know that Sneaky Bob finished in first place that has a commanding four point lead over everybody else right now. You can see it right there. Oh, there's Wormy 12 gauge. Rex coming down that long drop. And you can see Grey Wizard kind of just hits that corner, tries to go up the opposite side. Does not work out too well. We're gonna take a look at this from the blimp cam. Mm -hmm. Well, I normally call it the Michelle cam, but today I'm calling it the blimp cam because we paid for this blimp with your contract. So there we are. Oh, you can see Grey Wizard right there. Just, just can't make it past that crossways. That's unfortunate. Sneaky Bob in first place with four points so far. Lap number two. Okay, you're gonna stick with Grey Wizard or are you gonna move on to anybody else? I'm gonna, I have faith. Come on, Grey Wizard. I know you can do this. Let's go. All right. Well, we have Jessica up front uh, on the right and then Rim 12 gauge up front on the left hand side. Here they go, around turn one, it's gonna be Rim 12 gauge. Oh, wow! Holy smokes, Batman, that was crazy. Rim 12 gauge, right. Jessica just won any. We have a three car finish right there. That was kind of crazy at the crossroads. Oh, goodness, golly my. She had to make up for not finishing that first time and she was trying her best to block those people. Man. But Sneaky Bob said, uh-uh, and then he made a little bit way there for Grey Wizard. You, you know, I can see why she's out in front right now, the overall standings. Look at her driving right here. First of all, look at, my gosh, Remy 12 gauge. We've had some drivers have problems coming off that first turn right there. But look at this driving by Jessica as she comes around this lake loop, coming into the final crossroads section spins out right there oh and just barely holds on not allowing sneaky bob to pass we have that three car finish going jessica sneaky bob and then gray wizard you can see the standings right there sneaky bob up front right now with seven points jessica in second with four and gray wizard right there at third place with two points all right number three Lap number three. Who are you, are you, are you I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with Grey Wizard. I, I have to. I pick one. I commit. I'm a committer. You, you are I definitely commit. commitment to this right now, and your commitment is the Grey Wizard. Unfortunately, he's in so one makes a nice pass for second place. Remy 12 gauge way off the front. Wow. Oh, holy smokes! What happened there? Oh my goodness! Wow. Yeah, you guys gotta watch those. Uh, 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 what are those things called? You know, speed they, bumps. yeah, speed bumps and they rise above the ground. Sometimes they're speed humps. Yeah, and you, sometimes you don't go over too fast over them because that's what happens. Sometimes I bottom out with my car. <laughs> yeah, well, your car does have a little profile. All right, here we go. Take a look at him. I want to say, well, I don't, 
we're gonna have to go back and look at this in slow motion because I didn't really get a good look at it here. I want you to take a look at Remy 12 gauge as he's coming down the big drop. Nice and tight racing coming out of that first turn, going into the mountain loop. Watch Remy 12 gauge right here. He's gonna do a barrel roll. Wow. And, and a 180, stayed on the track. My goodness, people. You know what it was? What's it's that? because I didn't pick him. So he's like, I told you you should have. Uh, well, you got it. So right now it's anybody's race. Two people are going to move on. Stinky Bob's up front. You got Jessica Remy 12 gauge and Gray Wizard all separated by one point. You have Gray Wizard up front on the inside right with Stinky Bob on the outside left. All right. Your driver is in the cat seat right now, Maniac. He's no reason not to do this. All right. No. There they go. Down that first turn away, coming around that first turn. It is Great Wizard out in front of Remy 12 gauge, followed by Sneaky Bob. It's going to be Great Wizard way out in front, passing the lake loop, and finishes first. And we got Sneaky Bob all sideways, finishing. My goodness, what a race! You can see the lead, the commanding lead that Great Wizard had out in front right there. Who smoky doos. You know what? This is actually good luck because last time all my cars came in second. You know, you are absolutely right. But it's so still coming we'll we'll see if your predictions are going to come oh, right because yeah. we still got uh, semifinal number two. This was some really good racing here for uh, you know the semifinal number one out of these cars. You know, I am not disappointed with anybody that is moving on right now. Look at this! Look at this right here. Gray Wizard way out in front of everybody and just smoking it. Do you know what I'm seeing? Is these drivers are getting comfortable with our track. And that's what's happening. So they're going around, they're keeping on the track, and that's why we're having four car finishes. But you get a little too comfortable, you never know what's gonna happen on this track. Right, well we got Sneaky Bob moving on, advancing along with Gray Wizard. The other drivers, they are going home. They're gonna wait for lap three. All right, up next, I mean, there they are, check it out. Mm -hmm. Sneaky Bob, Gray Wizard, good looking set of cars. Ooh. Here we go, semi-final number two. That's a pretty two. set too. That's a pretty set too, right there by the Slime Man custom sign. With the radio, look, why is your troll or hauler back there? That, that was your trailer back there in the background. Mm -hmm. All right, up first in semifinal number two, Johnny Plue fin finishing with 15 points in that Kleenex car. Don't be going crying now if Johnny Blue loses. <laughs> Next up is going to be Lily, Lily the dog with nine points. That was a close race there. Yes. She does get that all important bonus point and uh, she's uh, uh, made it here to semifinal number two. Next up is going to be Flip with 10 points, and that's because Flip is, well, Flip's in third, even though qualified with more points than Lily the Dog, that's that, it's because uh, yeah. Lily the Dog won the heat. And the last thing we're gonna round this out with Mopar Mac with eight points, uh, and that's just point seating right there between the, him and Flip. All right, who do you got in this set? I like Lily. You like Lily the Dog. You, you know, you liked Lily the Dog last time too, which is cool. All right, well, Lily, it is a good looking car with that dog on the hood and Lily's dog start on the outside front right there. Uh, and oh my gosh, Johnny Blue takes a nice good lead. Oh, Mopar, Mac hit the same spot we had last time. Oh my goodness, Johnny Blue, what a good race. We have a three car finish there. Johnny Blue just smoked everybody way out in front by about 15 cars. What a good race by Johnny Blue. We have to take back a look here and see what happened to Mopar, Mac. Oh, well, Mopar Max not even anywhere around. That's some good tight racing between Lily the dog and Flip, though. Whew, what a good race. Okay, Mopar Mac is in the red car right there. We're gonna see what happens. And gets up on the side there, and bam! Yeah, you can't just get up on real the side. Slides. Yeah, real slide. It's, you know, that's why the banks and stuff put up those little like things on the sidewalks. So people can't do any real slides on the sidewalks, the curbs and stuff like that. Same thing that's happening here at our track. All right, Johnny Blue with four points. Lily the Dog, three points. Flip coming in. Two second. Well, you're looking at me like I'm crazy. Didn't you ever skateboard growing up? No. Okay, well, I did. All right, here we go. This is lap number two. They're off. It looks like Flip is in front of uh, Mopar Mac. Lily the Dog goes sideways a little bit, causing the other two to slow down. It's, oh, Flip turns upside down. Oh, Mopar Mac, what happened? Maniac. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out why you said Mopar Mac. Oh, yeah. Wow, sugar smack. Yeah, that was kind of that was kind of gnarly. Oh yeah, just hopped up right over that corner. Oh look, it's the Michelle Limp Cam. <laughs> well, you paid for it, so we got to use it. Here we go. Oh, you can see Flip. Oh, yeah. You know. Catastrophe. 
corner. The catastrophe corner. Yeah, we got to tell Mopar Mac that we painted that black and yellow for a reason, so you can see Ooh, that. Oh, wow. wow. You think he's okay? I'm sure he's okay. Right. It's Mopar Mac. Mopar Mac knows what he's doing. Right now we have Johnny Blue and Lily the Dog both in front with seven points. This is going to be lap number three. And Flip and Mopar Mac are in the front. The two leaders are in the back this time for lap number three. There they go down the first straightaway. Coming in the turn number one, it is going to be Flip taking a commanding lead. Mopar Mac wrecks again. Unfortunate. Here you can see Flip way out in front of everybody else. There's nobody else to be seen. Oh my gosh, you got Lily the dog coming in the back, right? I think that was Lily the dog. Yeah, but where's... Yeah, I don't know where anybody well, we else Well, we saw Mopar is. Mac. Where's... Well, I know where Mopar Mac kind of left off. The mm. way up in front well, kind of wrecked. Let's see, right here. We'll come down. There we go. Oh, yeah, that drop got Johnny Blue. That's unfortunate for Johnny Blue. You know, you have to be really careful coming around that mountain loop. Are, are you need Kleenex. You need Kleenex. You, you crying for Johnny Blue? Oh, my goodness. Look at Mopar and Mac wrecking right out of turn one. Johnny Blue is in second, starting to pull away from uh, Lily the dog. Flip way out in front. You don't catch it on this cam, but you can see it right there. Oh, yeah. And maybe he just caught a little edge of that corner. That's unfortunate. Lily the dog right now uh, with 10 points. Johnny Blue at seven. Flip catching up. Right now, it's basically a race between Johnny Blue and Flip on who's going to advance. Uh, well, I mean, I guess you can throw Lily the dog in there too by the points. You have Mopar and Max starting on the front inside. Here they come. This is the last uh, lap of this race. Um, uh, Mopar and Max in front. Flip is in second. Mopar and Max can actually finish this race. Yes, he does. Flip oh. Oh. But he crashed at the end. Yeah, Mopar and Max did crash at the end. Check that out. This is a good race by Mopar and Max. Wow. Did you see Johnny Blue there at the end? Holy cow, Batman. Check this out. Right about now. Bam! Ooh. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, maybe Johnny Blue needs to take some of the Kleenexes out of his car and start drying those eyes because he ain't moving on with wrecking like that. That's unfortunate. Mopar Mac is not, I mean, finished first, but not going to move on. It is going to be Lily the dog and Flip that are going to be moving on out of this. Look at that. That's a commanding lead right there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's cool to see that they don't always, when they hit that corner, they don't always wreck. Yep, so Lily the dog flip, they are moving on. They are our winners for today to be combined with our winners from the semifinal number one. Take a look at those cars one more last time. Unfortunate for Johnny the Blue and Mopar Mac. You guys are gonna have to wait till leg three of the race. Thank you everybody that's watched from the beginning uh, from Bay City. We are not the Amigos. We're gonna be moving on to uh, the Commotion Diecast Racing, running out with uh, Low Country Diecast Racing League. Great races today, Michelle. See you at the finals. See ya. Adios, amigos. Mm -hmm.